The bird of the century vote is over, but there's hope the worldwide attention it garnered will turn to action. US late night host John Oliver's focus on one Kiwi company could see a huge boost for conservation efforts. Perry Wilton has the story. With much fanfare, the man behind the biggest bird election campaign of all time broke his silence. Ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of myself and New Zealand's new bird of the century, I want to thank everyone who voted. US late night host John Oliver took a victory lap in the only way he knows how. Tonight isn't just the Puteki Teki's victory, it's your victory. But it was a victory in more ways than one. By encouraging people in nearly 200 countries to vote, Forest and Bird says donations came flying in. It also contributed to an additional $600,000 uh, worth of donations. So people around the world and here in New Zealand have put their money where their mouths are. Forest and Bird are hoping the boost doesn't end there. They've partnered with Metal Bird, a Kiwi sculpture company that's been celebrating the competition's winner for years. 30% of the sale of that bird directly to Forest and Bird to help with their activities. But this year's design has a special twist. Me riding on his back like one of his babies. And that scene sales go through the roof. And we're sitting there with our fingers crossed hoping the whole site's gonna stay together. Walters says it's a huge boost for <laughs> conservation efforts. It's almost a bottomless pit how much help birds need both locally and globally. John Oliver leading by example. We actually have one for every member of our studio audience tonight. That is right. So as the spotlight turns away from our birds, and Forest and Bird enjoy a well-deserved rest. Uh, I think my team uh, uh, could do with a cup of tea and a lie down. Toki and the team are crossing their fingers. Our native birds aren't forgotten. Hoping the sale of birds like these will help foot the bill for bird conservation. Perry Wilton, News Hub.